Hey everybody, I'm Lala Anthony and I am the ambassador for the 2019 ABFF Film Festival, which is where we are right now in Miami. It's the Shaft premiere and it's about to go down. Joe Torrey, I'm here my first time ABFF. Uh, Jeff is a good friend of mine and his wife. They asked me to come. I'm usually working Father's Day weekend, but now I have a film in it called Perfectly Single, and it's debuting tomorrow night. And I'm here to see uh, you know the uh, Super Bowl of uh, so let's say black filmmaking. My name is Erica Ash um, from Uncle Drew and Contempt Survivors of Morris. You name it. Um, and I am here. I'm actually going to be hosting the closing night award ceremony for ABFF. But more importantly, at this moment, I am here to support my former brother, Jesse Usher, and my former father, Richard Roundtree, in the movie Shaft. I'm so excited to see it. So to me, ABFF is a place where amazing talent and filmmakers come together and collaborate. There's so much to learn here. There's so much to see here. So if you want to have anything to do with television and film, ABFF is a place to be. ABFF means a whole lot to me. Gives um, filmmakers creativity, gives their heart, desire, gives young filmmakers a place where they, you know, they think that their work can be appreciated on a platform where they're judged by a body of their peers. <laughs> ABFF is a celebration of us, for us, by us. And it's important to me because, of course, you want to get the accolades from anyone that you can get them from, but when it comes from your own, it's something extra special. So I'm happy to be a part of that, and I'm happy to support other black people making films, participating in films, and funding films. I'm a huge fan of Maya Angelou. Um, she's inspiring. She's someone that I read when I need to be inspired, when I need to feel good about myself. I can't pick just one because there's so many, but that's who I definitely lean on when I need that extra motivation and to be inspired. I have a lot of favorite poems. Uh, I, I would say one of them would be uh, Invictus, you know, out of the night that covers me, black from pit to pole to pole. I thank whatever God for me for my unconquerable soul. That's one of the lines out of it, but uh, that means you know a whole lot to me. Because out of darkness you can rise. No matter how your heads are maybe bloodied, you can get up. <clears throat> it's been three weeks since you've been looking for your friend. The one you let hit it and never called you again. Remember when he told you he was about the Benjamins? You act like you didn't hear him, but I'm just kidding. That was Lauren Hill. That's really, I only did that because it's the only rap that I know off the top of my head. Um, but I love spoken word. I love the idea of people like creating poetry and saying what they want to say through uh, rhyming words. And every now and again, if you catch me on a good day, I can do some uh, rhymes myself. Today is not that day, but I'm just saying in general, I could, I could usually do that. So, Hey, what's up? It's Lala Anthony, and you're checking out Neil Soul. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Joe Torrey, and you're tuning in to Neil Soul, if you got a soul. Hi, I'm Erica Ash, and you are watching Neo Soul. <laughs>